How can I start a savings plan? Very few people actually have a savings plan. They don't even know what it is. A savings plan is actually very simple. It is a plan to save. I know it sounds crazy. It's like losing weight. I plan on losing weight and then you never do. Dang it. All right, maybe I'll make a video about that later in the future. Point being is that savings is very, very important. Why? Well, first off, it builds your net worth. Secondly, it gives you a cushion of time if something goes wrong with your financial security, your financial situation. You know, things happen. People get sick. Uh, cars break down. Uh, tragedy can strike. And without proper savings, it can set your entire wealth goal, your aspirations, your dreams off on a course that could go spiraling down into nothing. I mean, seriously, it's very important. So let's start a savings plan. Number one, you've got to document it. You need to actually look where you are right now. Get your savings account. If you don't have one, I want you to open one because you should have one. Look at your savings account and find out what you're in. Now, right now, the national average savings rate for Americans is less than $400, which means that Americans, if faced with a, a vehicle issue that just cost 401, 410, or even $500, they couldn't deal with it. They don't have the money. Okay. And that's not what it takes to be a success, to be wealthy. So what you do is you find out where you're at. And then I want you to find out where you want to be right now. It's okay to go a little crazy. I remember setting a goal of being a millionaire when I was about 22, 21, 22 years old. And I accomplished that by the time I was 25. Now I started with nothing in my bank account. No joke. As a matter of fact, the lady I was dating at the time, now my wife had to loan me $800 just to move out of my parents' house. Yes. Super embarrassing. It's a true story though. Little did she know that that $800 would come back as her being worth over a million dollars about six years later, five or six years later. See, I was just like a lot of people. I had nothing in my bank account. No, I wasn't behind in bills. I always seemed to make it because I was a hustler and I always figured out how to make a buck, but I didn't have any extra. So I started saving. I wrote down my goals and I said, I want to be a millionaire. Well, I need to start with a savings account. And so I need to start what I called the car blow up account. And that was, I needed enough money to replace the worst thing that could ever go wrong in a car is a rebuilt motor, and I had to save up $5,000. That was my, my goal. So what I did is I immediately started to have money every month that I would put into my savings account. M myself and my wife set up a goal of saving $200 a month. So that means I had to go through my bills, clean up some of my balance sheet, and figure out where to get that money. And if I couldn't clean up my balance sheet, I went and worked extra. But I wrote it down, and we had a monthly savings goal of $200. Now, got, what got really exciting is after a handful of months, it was really exciting to watch. Every month at $200 would go in, I had 200, then I had 400. Before you know it, I had $1,000. There was something so exciting of the first thousand dollars. And to be honest, it's hard not to get emotional because then I remember the first 10,000 and then I remember the first hundred. And it's like it was yesterday. And it's important because why? It took so hard. It was so long for you to get to that point. You don't want to go backwards. So you treated that money very carefully. All right. So you need that monthly goal. Then what we did is we started up it. It got really exciting when, and it's rare these days, but every once in a while you're hit with a little bit of good luck and your supervisor says, you know what? You're going to get an, an, a, an hourly raid rage increase. Usually it's called the cost of living adjustment or a COLA increase. And so what we did is we started taking those very small increases and we wouldn't spend them and we added it. Before you knew it, we were saving 225 a month, then 245 a month. And every time we upped that officially, we would write it down on our agreement, our savings plan. And that meant we did not go backwards. There were times where I couldn't make my savings. And I actually went out and worked side hustles, uh, washing people's cars to make sure that I had my, my bills paid and my savings amount. I looked at my savings plan as a bill and it needs to go on your budget. I would have my income at the top of written out my budget, my income, all of my bills, and then how much went into savings. A lot of people call it pay yourself first, which means I've agreed to pay myself 200 or $225 a month into my savings account. And I'm going to pay that. And then I'm going to figure out how to get those bills paid. And it worked 
wonderfully. Now I look back on where I've come and there's no fast, easy way. But I will tell you this, the one thing that is fast is go a couple of months, three or four months, maybe five or six months of your savings plan and putting money in the bank and then look at your bank account and look at it and go, that money is there if I needed it. I'm not going to go get it because it's getting me more excited to see it hit the thousand, hit the 10,000. And someday you're going to hit that hundred thousand dollar mark in your savings account. I bet you, if you read the comments of this video, you're going to see a lot of people that know exactly what I'm talking about. And they're going to share the joy of saving money. Once you can get rid of the joy and the excitement of spending money, which doesn't last very long. After you take the item home, you use it for a couple of days. It's just another thing. When you start to figure out how exciting it is to save money and do what most Americans or most human beings can't do, and that's put more than $400 in the bank account, you are going to be on a massive freeway to success. All right, with that being said, it looks like this video is done and down in the record books. Let's move on to the next course or the next video. I don't know.